Hello everyone. This tutorial, I'm quickly going to cover how to create mixed channel strips as your send effects. Traditionally, we're used to creating send effects via the context menu by right-clicking on the send effects channel section and then creating your reverb, your delay line, your compressors, whatever you want. Um, but a cleaner approach that I find gives you much more possibilities over the control of your sound, whatever it's EQ, compressor, compression, getting, adding some gain or whatever, you'll see it in action. You'll understand. Um, so yeah, the idea is we create a mixed channel and then we insert the effect within the insert effects section. But beforehand, we actually have to connect it first. So let's make the proper routing. All right, input and outputs are connected. Now, let's create a reverb, a large one there. Let's just make it more epic-like. All right, it should be large enough. Let's test this. Hello, one, two. It seems to work fine. Okay, so that works. The interesting thing is also you can uh, feedback the effect onto itself because it also has the send effect uh, channels uh, available. So let's give it a quick test. Hello, hello. But it's very easy to <laughs> sorry. It's very easy to overload it <clears throat> or get clipping um, unless you have you know, a maximizer. But then again, you'll just flood the entire single chain with uh, just the effect. So you want to avoid that. You want to gently ride the uh, uh, the amount of send that you give uh, up and down, so that way um, you can almost control it like an instrument. Next, let's create a delay line. Delays are pretty cool for dub-like echo. There is an upcoming dub echo in Reason 6, so this trick might not be so handy then, but for now, here's a neat, clean way to do one. Feedback. Delay. All right, let's try this. Delay. Test. 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 One two. One two. One two. One two. One check. One check. One check. 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 Now let's try with um, applying the echo onto itself. Check. 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 Enough of that. Uh, the interesting thing too is uh, when you combine effects to f send between each other. So let's try to send, for instance, the delay to itself again, but also to the reverb. So this should uh, polish the delay with a bit of uh, a reverb trail to it. So let's try that. Hello. 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 Whoa. So it gives you automatically it's sort of a dreamy environment effect. And, you know, if you control the delay uh, nicely, you can have this sort of fill in the back of your mix uh, for the entire uh, length of your song. So it could be pretty cool. Um, let's try with an instrument instead. So the piano. So let's activate the delay.
Okay. <clears throat> when you start activating many sound effects at once um, to like feed between each other, it's dan dangerous territories and hard to like understand how it feed between each other. But uh, I'm just going to try it for fun and see what we get. So you can hear you definitely get a different flavor with the reverb feeding into the delay. It's almost like a UFO is approaching or flying away in the distance. Flying away, away, away in the distance. A little bit too much low end on the reverb, so we could fix that with the high pass filter. So they're much, much less low end. Sometimes it might be too much high end, so you can fix that as well with the low pass filter. And yeah, that just about sums up the kind of really cool effects you can do with uh, your reverb. And I should label these. That sh should be the first thing you do when you create these pitch channel. And yeah, you can go ahead and use this technique in your productions. And yeah, have fun. See you next time.